So let's talk about alignment. So there's two components that we want to focus on alignment. It's where the rib cage position is and where the pelvis is. So we want those two to be stacked with one another. So focusing on the pelvis first. So when we look at the pelvis, the pubic bone and the hip bone being stacked with one another is neutral. The hip bone being behind the pubic bone is more posterior and the hip bone being ahead is anterior. So the way that you can tell what you are is you can put you can form a triangle on your hands, put your fingertips on your pubic bone and your palms on your hip bone. And then you can kind of play around. Usually looking in a mirror is helpful until the fingertips and the hips, the palms are aligned with one another. So if my fingertips are deeper in, I'm probably in a posterior or anterior tilt where I'm pushing my butt out. If my fingertips are more tucked under or further out than my palms, I'm probably in a posterior tilt where my butt is tucked underneath. And then when they're stacked with one another, that's probably neutral. Now, if I look in a mirror, what I feel to be neutral might actually not be. So for me, for example, I tend to live in more of an anterior tilt when my hips fall forward. Um, so when I feel like I'm neutral or when I'm actually neutral, I actually look, I feel like I have more posterior tilt, but I don't. So looking in the mirror, and seeing like, okay, this is what my neutral is and remembering how that feels and then doing that throughout your day can be really helpful. So when you're holding your kid, when you're picking something up, think this is what neutral feels like. This is what neutral feels like. The second component is gonna be the ribs. So I got my pelvis lined up, my pelvis is a neutral, but now are my ribs thrusted forward? So are they lifting up now or are they even like pushed back? So the thing that you can look for is like, is my ear, my shoulder and my hip kind of generally in a line? So you can look in the mirror and you can see like, okay, my shoulder is generally stacked with my hip. So most likely I'm fairly stacked. Now, if my shoulder is kind of behind my hip, most likely I am pushing my ribs backwards. Or if my um, shoulder is more forward, I'm probably more anterior and thrusty with my ribs. So you can kind of take a look. The other thing that you can do is you can put your thumbs on your, the bottom of your rib cage and your fingertips on your hips. And when you're moving around, you can see like, do my fingertips come closer together because I'm pushing back? Or do they get farther apart because I'm thrusting and moving into an interior tilt? So this would be like coming together, moving back into a more posterior push back position. This would be more anterior uh, fingertips from spreading from one another. So you can play around with that in both the supine position, so laying on your back, seated, standing, and see like what neutral feels like for you. Um, and then see what neutral actually looks like by looking in a mirror. And then try to incorporate that in all your movement. The more stacked we are throughout all our movement, the better we're setting our spine up to stabilize, and the better we're setting up our core to heal.